Hey guys, I hope you had a wonderful summer so far, and I know that the results date is approaching or it's already gone depending on when you're watching this video, so I wanted to kind of cover the question, what do you do if you want to do a certain subject? I'm going to tailor this more towards A-level maths, but your school or your college is either not offering it, maybe it's too full, maybe it requires a grade, and you really need it for university or your next career. So I want to go through exactly what you can do in order to help yourself in this situation. So. What you can do is actually enter these exams completely privately. Now, the great thing about a lot of A-level subjects is that there's no coursework, which means if you book exams and you sit those papers, even if it's not at school, you will get that A-level, guaranteed. Okay, so what you essentially want to do is, depending on what A-level subjects you're talking about, so I'm gonna talk specifically about maths, but for example, with biology and chemistry, there are coursework aspects, depending on the exam board, etc. So pick a certain exam board and pick a certain A-level that doesn't have coursework, and you can book the exams independently. Now, I'm going to show you just using this website. However, I'm not endorsing them or sponsored or anything like that. Uh, I will give you a few other methods to do it. But effectively, what you can do is literally just select whichever A-level subject you want to do and book a, an exam it, and in of itself. So if you go to exams, for example, it says book your GCSE or A-level exam, then you can literally choose what year you're sitting it. So normally they only have June sittings. However, some other exam centers do allow November and January sittings. So uh, for example, let's say you want to give yourself two years. You can choose whichever exam that you can choose from, again, depending on what subject it is. And effectively that will allow you to you know, sit them, and then obviously your exam venue. So my actual personal recommendation is not necessarily to use websites like this, however, I will leave the link in the description, but look up local exam centers. They may be tuition centers, they may be colleges, they may be even schools that will allow you to sit private exams. So I've had some homeschooled students who booked exams through their, uh, through their school that they used to go to, and they sat them at that same school. And effectively, just through a payment, and I know that number is pretty big and pretty scary, so I'd advise you to shop around because some of them may be slightly cheaper, although I will say that a lot of the prices are set by the exam boards themselves. You can literally just book the exams. So if I finish this, let's say Coventry, and then do you need access arrangements? So just say no, and I enroll or I purchase or whatever, I will then sit the exam in two years. They will give me a statement of entry. They will book everything for me. And that will allow me to go and sit the exam just like I would in a school or college. And then I'll get the A-level no matter what. So you can do this as an alternate kind of uh, route. The one downside is, and again, you'd have to talk to your school about this, but normally schools will insist on three A-levels, even if you're booking one privately, which means you may end up doing four A-levels, which is a lot more work. However, I've helped certain students talk to their schools and basically show proof that they are studying a, um, an A-level independently and then they've booked the exam independently. And then they've allowed them just to pick two A-levels at their school and the third A-level they're doing independently. But again, you have to actually provide proof that you're studying it. Now, self-studying, if you're just saying, yeah, I'm reading the book or something, they might not believe you. So if you're enrolled in some, uh, like a tuition centre or an online course or something, it might go a long way. Or if you show them that you're doing these notes, etc. The reason for that is they do have a duty of care to make sure they're actually going to get enough A-levels to finish sixth form as such. So what I want to do is spend the next uh, bit of time, again, Google just local tuition centres, local exam centres, etc. So you can book those exams if you want to. But I'm actually going to now cover exactly how that process works, kind of specifically for A-level maths. So in terms of self-studying, uh, it can be kind of tricky. However, it's not impossible. And um, so with something like maths, it's actually not that bad. There's a lot of resources out there to help you. So you can look up an online course and pay for it. I will bear in mind that some of these are 500 plus pounds, which is very, very steep. Uh, you can also just find kind of online free YouTube videos and things like that. So I personally have already started a pure series for A-level maths. And effectively what this is going to be is I'm going to cover everything you're going to need for paper one and paper two. Everything. And it's going to be 100% Edexcel. However, that covers about 90 plus percent of AQA and OCR as well. So it should be useful to pretty much all of you. And I'm going to do all of that completely. I'm going to have past papers. I'm going to have everything like that. And if you notice in the description of these videos, it does have a link to the actual worksheet. So you'll be able to then go back and attempt them yourself. So that's one thing. 
with the uh, some other things I'm going to do to try and help you guys in order to help bring down the cost because keep in mind a level maths tuition pretty expensive it's upwards of 40 pounds an hour sometimes I mean the average is 50 pounds an hour and I know people that are paying 100 plus pounds an hour for actual experienced tutors so keep in mind if you find someone online and they're doing it for 20 pounds an hour or something one to one keep in mind that's based on experience so the tutors that get a lot of students and that actually have experience in teaching maths tend to charge more because they already have too many people to take care of. So to help kind of bring down that cost, I have a few different things I'm going to do to help. The first thing is I'm going to have YouTube live streams. However, in order to kind of limit the number of people joining, because we did have some issues last time, last year where people would join, spam a bunch of stuff and then be annoying, is that I'm actually going to put this as part of the YouTube members. So the way this is going to work is I'm going to set it as about £10 a month and there's going to be one live stream every single week with an additional live stream if there is any kind of exams or right before mocks as well. So effectively you get four minimum hour long live streams for £10 a month. So it works out at £2.50 an hour if not lower. So if those of you that are in my GCSE live streams, you know that I would go on for an hour and 15, hour and a half sometimes. What you'll be able to do is I will have lesson plans that I'll email that I'll have on the YouTube member section, but also you can submit questions that I will then answer as well. Okay, and that's how it's going to work. That way you have very cheap tuition, essentially. The next thing is with the, and that's also going to cover, by the way, pure and statistics and mechanics. If you notice, I didn't mention statistics and mechanics, which is paper three, in this kind of free YouTube section. The reason for that is a lot of schools and a lot of places don't cover stats and mechanics and they'll expect you to self-study. And a lot of the content online not that great. It's very basic and rudimentary. So I'm putting in quite a bit of effort and time into making a stats and mechanics course. Now at the moment that is on Patreon. So the first like set of videos are actually already out. So we have standard deviation and coding. Again, it has worksheets and mark schemes as well. The mark schemes tell you exactly where you get the marks, shockingly, but also sometimes has different methods as well if appropriate. So if there's multiple ways of completing a question, I'll show you it in the video, but I'll also have a different method in the mark scheme as well. And that is going to take place as and when I release it. It's going to be continuously updated. It's going to do every single past paper. It's going to do every single topic. And it's going to have continuous updates to it. That way it's going to, in my humble opinion, I'm going to hope and aim to make it literally the best way to learn applied maths. Not just best way online to learn it, the best way period, even better than school learning as well. You can also of course message me, leave comments, I'll reply to every single one, leave additional feedback, etc. Go through specific questions if you submit them, stuff like that. And I'm thinking that once it's done, I'm going to release it as like a one payment course as well. But that might take some time because, you know, it's quite a lot of stuff and it's going to be continuously updated. So that's two ways. Okay, so one is the Patreon is going to be applied maths only. Okay, and it's going to cover everything you could possibly ever need. The YouTube uh, membership is going to essentially be tuition. Okay, and it's going to cover pure and applied. Both of those things are going to be covered. And I've already planned out roughly what we're going to be doing. And I know for sure that by the time of the year 12 mocks, we're going to cover everything in year 12 and do exam practice. And by the time of the year 13 exams, we're going to cover everything and do exam practice. We're going to have a very nice, neat schedule. You'll know exactly what you need to do at any given moment. And here comes the kind of last thing that so far I've come up with to help you guys. And that is actually doing normal tuition, essentially. So I'm going to run tuition classes as well. And if you are interested in those, they're going to start the second week back. There's no point starting the first week back because I'm not gonna lie to you, your first lessons at school are probably going to be kind of housekeeping. So making sure you label your book and like what the course is about and yada, yada, yada. So we're starting the second week back. I'm pretty sure it's something like the 11th or 13th. If you are interested, then please feel free to message me on the Discord or on email. So my email is always in the description. So it's the Discord and we can talk about it as so you can book your places. But I'm gonna run at least one weekday class and one weekend class just so we can uh, have some variety in that and it's going to be small groups so no more than six just so you're aware but that will hopefully keep you all prepared now i'm just going to preface this could you learn a level maths without any of this absolutely 
if you want. So I'm actually going to go through what books and stuff that you need to buy as well. The only thing that I would recommend buying for sure is the calculator I've left in the description of this video. So if you're unaware of what this calculator is, it is the one that I use in all of my videos. This calculator is a lifesaver. If you watch some of these videos, you'll see me using it a lot to solve quadratics, solve inequalities, even solve simultaneous equations. But also with the applied maths, this gives you access to all of the distributions that you can ever need. For those of you that aren't aware, when you go into your paper three, you get a fat book, which is around 16 pages. The reason why they give you that mostly is for these distributions. And it's literally huge tables where you have to scan through and find specific values. And then you have to rely on the fact that you haven't read the wrong value accidentally. You know how when you're reading a table and you read across and sometimes you read the wrong thing? It's such a waste of time. Here, you can do all of the distributions you need for AQA, edXL, etc. on a calculator in literally like two seconds. It's so quick, it's so easy. I would say that this is compulsory buying. The old Casio, like the black one that you have, doesn't do that. So I would thoroughly recommend this calculator. It's about £30, I'll put an Amazon link in the description, but I would advise you shop around, find a cheaper thing. If you can buy it second hand, it's solar powered and everything, so even if it's five years old or two years old, it really doesn't make a difference. As long as it literally functions, you'll be completely fine. So try and save some money by buying it second hand or buying it from like a lesser known store. But the Amazon link is there if you just want convenience. Personally, I've had like, you know, some of these lost and stolen, etc. So I've just literally bought it on Amazon because it's just quick and get it the next day. But yeah, other than that, there are some books I'm going to leave in the description as well, which are literally the classic Edexcel books that 90% of schools will recommend that you buy. You can work through those. They have tons of problems in there where you can kind of practice and learn. But overall, doing self-studying for maths is very scary. I 100% agree with you. However, it is entirely possible and it will give you some good experience and it will make you more independent as well. But I do have these resources available for you just to help you. Anyways, I think this video has gone on a bit too long for what it needs to be. But in short, you can book the exams yourself if you need maths, if you require it, if you want to do engineering in the future, if you want to go doing accountancy or finance, and maybe GCSE just didn't go that well for you. Completely fine. I know people that didn't do well at GCSEs, but then studied in A-levels and did really well in A-levels. Getting a low grade in GCSE doesn't mean that you're not smart enough to do it, okay? It's a load of nonsense. If you're prepared, you can get very high grades on any exam that you ever sit. But anyways, this is enough preaching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope that your results are better than you expected. But if not, feel free to email me, message me on Discord, leave a comment and I'll try and help you out as best as I can. But than that, have a wonderful day.